To determine whether BRF5 is polar or nonpolar, let's first look at the Lewis structure here. So we can see we have our central bromine atom, and it's surrounded by one, two, three, four, five fluorine atoms, and then we have this lone pair here. So as we look at the electronegativity difference between this bromine and the fluorine, so here's fluorine, 3.98 and bromine, 2.96, we have a pretty big difference between electronegativity. That means these bonds between the fluorine and the bromine, they're going to be polar bonds. What that means is we have a pair of electrons here that are shared between the bromine and the fluorine in a covalent bond. But they're not shared equally. They're more spending time here with the fluorine. So that makes the bond polar. It also makes the fluorine a little bit more negative. But looking at the overall BRF5 molecule, trying to figure out if the overall molecule is polar, let's take a look at its three-dimensional structure. So the purple, that'll be our central bromine atom. And let's add those five fluorines. One, two, three, four, five. And you see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Now let's add that lone pair, though. And you can see that lone pair, it forces everything down. We end up with what's called a square pyramidal molecular geometry. So this lone pair on the top is pushing things down, these fluorine atoms. That makes this an asymmetrical molecule. And it's asymmetrical because the fluorines, they're all down on this side here. And then on the top, we don't have fluorines. Because the fluorines are more negative, that means that we'll have a more negative side here. And then on the top, it'll be more positive. So BRF5, it's a polar molecule. Back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, we said these bonds between the bromine and the fluorine, the bond, each individual bond is polar because of a difference in electronegativity. And then overall, we have this asymmetrical molecule. And that makes BRF5 a polar molecule. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.